Hey, I'm Shiner CCC, and I'm presenting a much anticipated video. Well, actually, it's not anticipated at all, except by me. But I've been wanting to post a LeBlanc video for a long time because LeBlanc is my favorite champion in League of Legends. And while I had some decent, well, I've got some decent replays over, but I feel like I had too many shenanigans in there, or the enemy team was bad and didn't react correctly. <coughs> so what I'm giving you is a ranked match. This is solo queue, and I duo queued with Marswing here. You can see everyone's pick order from left to right. Uh, this was also played around, like, right before midnight, West Coast uh, Pacific time. So it was a little bit sketchy because our Warwick insisted, I'm going to start with attack speed when I was talking to him about starting with a longsword. Okay, so I buy boots and potions right away, and I start marching out in case we're going to invade, but that's not a great idea, really, with these guys. Yep, so there, Warwick got a dagger and a health potion for his... or Phoenix Bun, I guess, for his first items. Wow. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. This guy. <laughs> he doesn't know about the whole, like... You start with a longsword on Warwick, you clear the whole jungle, and then you buy your Blood Razor. Or not Blood Razor, just regular razors. So Warwick is paranoid of invasion, so he asks uh, Graves to come up and help. Um, so yeah, I take boots first on the block because you don't want to start with a Doran's Ring. Well, you want to get Doran's Rings anyway, as per the Reginald build, which is incredibly legit, by the way. Um, I'm up against Ari. Their first pick was Ari, so I said, I'll take LeBlanc against Ari and just crush all over the place. <sighs> So I say, well, Warwick's going to do blue, so bot lane is going to start no with the golems. By the way, uh, shoutouts to Marswing. He is the best top laner I've ever seen. Okay. Speed this up a bit. So I take Distortion at level 1 so I can uh, speed up Warwick's jungle time. Poor guy's just like a bad jungler who's really slow, in my opinion. Get those one last shot, and then gonna go around to get ready to leash blue. And distortion's still on cooldown, and I don't want to miss any CS against Ari. Wow, Warwick smited it right away. I actually didn't know that. What a scroob. Anyway, so here I am leaning against Ari, getting some CS. I got Pantheon top lane, and their bot lane is a uh, Siver Alistar versus our Grave Sona. No, I didn't know they started out so poorly. Well, let's speed this up a bit. Uh, I already hit Ari with Distortion here. And I'm almost level 2, so I'm holding back. Getting ready. Then I accidentally hit a minion. I recently started smart casting uh, everything ex Well, just actually just Q and E on all my champions. I should also set R to do that with LeBlanc. Although that might be kind of sketchy if you're copying Distortion. Misses CS there, like a pro. So I just get real aggressive on Ari, because she's not, you know, if I get close and I can duking an Orb of Deception, she gets really aggressive and auto-attacks me, but this uh, is just going to help push the lane. So I get hit by some spills full power, and she whiffs charm, whatever. Send my clone in to distract her. And she doesn't farm it for 25 gold, not bad. I'm already grip and sipping potions though, so I gotta be careful. And Marzwin gives up first blood. And Pantheon lives despite taking two tower shots. You know, that that threw me off a little bit because Marzwin was second pick. And I figured he'd be on the higher end of Elo in this game. <coughs> Some really juking Ari out there, getting closer than I have to really. Oh, Dirkwork helps get a gank. He actually got an assist for that. Nice. Mm. Alright, so we're coming up to an important milestone level for LeBlanc, is level 4, when you can learn Ethereal Chains and potentially kill somebody. And I miss a melee minion there, like a fool. Really gotta work on last hitting on, well, every character. See, I'm going around the tower there when I could have got that one easily. Could have got that one, but I'm busy uh, fighting Ari. So what I do is because I'm close, I don't use distortion. I do the alternate combo where I use the guide for some more damage and AP. There you go, easy kill. 
But then Riven shows up and almost key bursts me, so I have to use Flash to get away. Ah. Warwick is trash talking already. Even though Marswing is still in high spirits. So I don't I don't want to recall yet because I want to have 950 gold so I can get two Dorn's rings without realizing at the time that by the time it takes to recall and open the shop menu you will have 950 gold. So I stayed just long enough to distortion the minions to push them back a little bit. Warwick still with his dagger. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. Get my Doran's rings and a sight ring because I, or a sight ward because I don't want Riven to come back. Ari is back and in a good position on Warwick, but she doesn't do anything. So I'm reading chat and I say Marswing's in trouble because Pantheon is basically LeBlanc but physical. Just doesn't have any sustain, but just bullies the enemy laner all day until they have to leave. So I say, alright, I'll come help. But I see Pantheon is not there. Warwick just says, so bad. Alright, so with Pantheon not there, I'm just going to go back to mid. Uh, thinking of thinking about warding that corner, but... Link towards her, miss my E, because I just started smart casting it. I don't know. Too much jawning. I, maybe I should have bought two potions instead of the sight ward. So Ari's got the uh, potion advantage on me right now. Gotta be careful. So I get out of the way of that Orb of Deception, and I toss a Q on the way. Alright, so now I'm level 6, but unfortunately the wave is pushed up to me. It's often a good tactic to just push against the block because it keeps her in lane, and she's really bad at farming in general. <laughs> like, people always make fun of my creep score when I'm LeBlanc, but... You know, Annie can incinerate minions, Zareth and Ari can AoE them all. So Ari left for a gank, luckily that ward saw her. And bot lane barely gets away. But luckily... So Creep's giving sight over here. Sona with the power cord kill, Oh yeah! And me with the overkill on Sivir. Probably could have just gone QE on Sivir, and then wait for Q to come back and go QR for Alistar. Oh well. Just want to get in the power cord. Alistar bashes me back, and then flashes away. Thinks he's safe, but... Sona's 305 move speed is too much. Pantheon jawning for his team there. So let's fast forward, I got money. Obviously if I have 750, I'm gonna get Sorcerer's Shoes. Even though I like to build Deathfire Grasp on LeBlanc, getting Kage's lucky pick is suicide. Alright. <laughs> so I scope out Marswing here. I'm seeing Pantheon overextended. And he's two levels ahead. And I've been in this situation before where if you're losing a lane really bad, you know, you really need help. So Marswing says, oh, don't bother. There's wards, there's wards. Warwick's not even level 6, but he goes anyway. Pantheon knows he's fucked. He just tries to fight back, but as soon as I get there, get the Crooked Airborne Mimic Sigil of Silence, and I get the Spree money. And just before I leave, of course, I'm going to push this lane a bit. Of course, you got to let Wukong farm some of that, too. As in, you got to miss CS for free. So checking out mid. Mid got pushed again. Warwick's got a rather interesting build himself there. <laughs> so still pushing, still pushing. I don't know why. Really. Right, I am intent on pushing by using Mimic Distortion there to AoE minions. So Riven shows up and I think, oh boy, free kills, free kills on Riven. Just gonna take so much minion damage, but then Pantheon jumps in. And I go, uh oh. I had distortion ready, so I almost would have got away, but it was still not good to trade because I gave up Spree Gold to Pantheon, who is, again, the biggest threat. Oh well. Kind of forgot Pantheon can Sparta jump like that. So Marswing says, uh, I want to swap lanes. I can't handle Pantheon. So I say, alright, I can handle Ari, but I don't see why I can't handle Pantheon. I mean, his shields don't bother me, so this will probably go well. 
So I buy a blasting wand instead because I'm doing well. I don't need a third Doran's ring. All right, so I fear the, t the tower is gonna fall. So I flash to get in range, and then get the E on him. He jumps back to try and sneak some damage. Tosses out ignite, even though he has absolutely no hope of killing me. And there we go. <laughs> Warwick calls me pro. I actually missed that. Trying to farm. Whatever, just get farming. Farming's boring. So I'm gonna recall here, because I'm at half health and Pantheon's dead, so... You gotta recall. Like, you should usually recall whenever your opponent's dead. Especially as the block, because if they come back and you're at half health... You're, you're like a War of Attrition champion, just like Annie, so... You gotta make sure you win every exchange. You gotta try and take him down from full to zero every time. So I'm I'm pulling. So I ward both bushes there, so I can maybe see a bit of both. So Pantheon pushed up a bit far here, so I got chains on him again, stalling for time, just in time for a QW. Oh, the distortion missed him, but it was actually my auto attack that finished him. That's always a nice feeling. Then my creeps, uh, <laughs> the creeps uh, follow my clone around, so it pushes the lane for me. Awesome. So got a. Oh, I should have used my chains on that cannon minion. Here we go. Distortion. Yeah! Farm everything. Okay. It looks like there might be a gank mid here. Ari got their blue. Warwick. Got charmed. Ari's dancing around. Juking him. Giving him the pity kill with Foxfire. No, not really. They managed to get her to use her ult, which is always nice. Oh yeah, Warwick just used his on bot lane there. Sona with a Chalice of Harmony. Interesting choice. I guess it'll help me on Salastar's magic damage. Alright, so I see mid is pushed, so I briefly make a return visit. Get hit by Charm, but I don't even care. Get the chains, and Ari flashes away, and I have bad reflexes. If I had had Smartcast R on, I don't know, I would have... QR, and if I had maintained the leash, then uh, yeah, if I kept chasing, I probably could have maintained my chain's leash. So. And Warwick does me a big favor, even though I miss E. Good use of his ulti. So I see Pantheon coming. Decide to ward this bush. Oh, if I'd chased him. Actually, it's a good thing I didn't, because Riven comes from behind there. Well, Pantheon escapes the flash. Wukong goes aggressive, as Marzwin usually does, and then he gets a really nice Cyclone. I see my chains on Pantheon, so I give him a Sigil, so it'll pop for damage. I decide to finish him off with Ignite while I move on to Riven with Distortion. Then I get scared and hit Distortion in turn. Luckily, Wukong got red buff and secured it. I get some assists, I'm now 7, 1, and 3. Looking at him, god, pry god. So I Distortion these creeps, get him out of the way. Miss one of them, oh well. So, with three of them dead, and bot lane still being bot lane... Oh yeah, Warwick goes to cover top. But, I, I don't know, I get scared and get out of there. If you press tab, you'll see Pantheon is alive, and he'll probably be looking to Grand Skyfall as soon as he can. So Wukong, with his wriggles, goes back to laning against Ari. I'm kind of tempted to go back in there to, like, just 2v1 her, but... At so little health, I'm afraid Ari could kill me, even though it's slow. The thing about Ari is that she can damage you while silenced, which is important. Ari misses a point blank charm, so she goes for the dive on Wukong. Oh, he should have gone for the crushing blow. He is gonna die anyway. So I sit on the fountain a little longer to get a sight ward. I've got my needlessly large rod getting so close to death cap. Pretty important milestone for the block. If you're not going with the Soul Stealer route, but <laughs> that doesn't work at a, you know, once you get to level 30 pretty much. So, you know, Warwick tells me to come get blue, but I said I already killed Ari and stole theirs. So I say give it to Wukong. And Warwick's like, "No, Wukong will lose it. He's noob." An ally has been slain. So I see a whole bunch of shenanigans in bot lane there, but all right, good. Oh, we just lost our word on dragon there too. So, but I also want to try to save the tower. So, I'm trying to get Warwick to stop raging because, well, pretty much every guide, like just 
perhaps the best advice about solo queue is don't let your team rage. Like, if, if your team starts raging, well, how often do you win when your team is raging? Come on. So Graves kills Alistar alone somehow. And then I go in for a gank, but Riven was waiting there the whole time. So I fail my first distortion by slamming into the wall. Get off last second. Sort of? No. Get away with 20 health. Warwick Tunnel Vision Sivir, even though she's got her ult going. So I say, Warwick, you fool, you should just turn around and kill my well, Pantheon. See, there you go. Oh, nope, he gets clutch shields. So, that's pretty regrettable, because I, you know, didn't contemplate the possibility of Riven still being in that bush. So Wukong looks to go get some salty revenge here. He starts 1v1ing Riven, even though they both have Wriggles. Trying to damage her Garen style. He's too afraid to get to the tower, though. Well, gets a nice uh, Nimbus Strike crushing blow, though. Sona thinking of diving. And then Pantheon jumps in there, giving Wukong no remaining options, pretty much. Looks like he stopped juked a little bit. Oh, right. On my way over there, I see Ari's looking to help out, but... No, no, no. Ooh. Ari has already escaped, somehow. I have distortion away from Aegis range. Don't want to get stunned by Pantheon, because that'll just be... death. So I get the snare on Pantheon, but no, I time my spells poorly and I can't kill him yet. Pantheon gets 25 gold off my clone. It's looking a bit dangerous at this point, because the uh, purple team could stabilize here. Even though Graves is doing really well. Graves is 4-2. Uh, and two. It's only behind Sivir by 5 CS, but Sivir has no kills. So the entire enemy team is bought. You know, at this point it's like, wow, you guys should just go push somewhere else instead of all holding your dicks doing nothing in one lane. But, you know, these guys tell me to come bot. Like, we need you, LeBlanc, we need you. I like to take Ignite and teleport for like, times like this. You know, if you need to really be somewhere, then you can teleport there. Like, teleport to that ward for a surprise gank. That's always awesome. So Warwick looking to be some kind of initiator, but they, they must have a ward because they see me. Maybe, no. They probably predict him in there. Alright, we got a lot of action coming up here, so I better slow this down. So even though Alistar ults, Warwick ults him. I just toss a single Q onto Alistar because I don't want to waste too much of my spell damage. Now Riven gets caught up in a Sona ult, so I have distortion just for damage, but I'm probably going to use the rest of my combo on someone else. See, I just get the chains on Ari. Uh, she breaks the leash just in time. So I'm Py Pantheon is my number one priority, so I'm saving my ult for him. He gets a combo off of me and just tries to flash away. Now I almost died Orb of Deception here. The whole team almost dies to it, in fact. No, Warwick goes down. Wait, I did have the leash on Ari. Slow replay bug. So despite being extremely low, I managed to get that off. Very lucky Sivir's ricocheted and bounced onto me for the kill. Now, probably should have gone for a tower dive right here, because I still have flash ready, but I'm very low and I don't want to die, because I'm, I'm doing well. No, and Pantheon, even though he's low health, he comes back in for a jump, and wow, gets the the jump kill on Graves, and I get pretty salty about that. And yeah, Wukong didn't react to that in time. He could have just like pressed E, and well, Pantheon would have died. So this is kind of funny. It's like two low health characters fighting each other. Oh, I missed my... So that was a big mistake right there. Actually, it was four mistakes in a row. I could have, I could have killed all three of them. Alright, Sivir gets two kills, but Wukong cleans up, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> so what happened there was I was hoping that by distortioning over the wall, I could have just like killed Sivir with distortion damage, or Pantheon too, but I actually went too far and missed him. So I thought, okay, I'll blink back over the wall, but I ended up blinking onto Pantheon for the kill there. But that was the, that was the use of my ultimate. This That's like really valuable. So Marswing making the smart choice to fight with Alistar, because Alistar is the support, and he has like wriggles and all this damage. Like, Alistar can't effectively 1v1 him, even with all this damage. Oops. Actually, it's corrupted the replay there. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Graves coming in with the cleanup. Maybe. Maybe. 
So this tower is going to go down. And I... Yeah. <laughs> Wukong calling all of us pussies. I don't. Th I don't think he meant me because I tried to dive a bunch of low health enemies having less than 200 health myself. I could have got it. I also missed the Q on Sivir. I was trying to Q Sivir, but I my mouse was a little bit off. So I act and if my chains had landed too, I would have killed Riven and I mis aimed those. So I should have got three kills that easily. So Warwick just goes for the nice. Yeah. Kind of waste my R on Sivir there. In case there were more enemies around, I would have wanted that around, but. She also spell shielded my mimic sigil, but she was dead anyway. Then Sona goes to ward and just gets exploded. Has been slain. Yeah, solo queue for you. <laughs> so nothing much happens for a bit. We got dragons, which means I can afford death cap now. Okay, this is this is kind of a funny moment. Like Warwick is just killing blue. Like wow. What a, what a douche. I waited till it was at a thousand health to start comboing it, and then he doesn't hit stop. So, Wukong starts even though he's like, didn't do so well in laning, but he's got some good items now. He's got a lot of damage. I should try to go a little more tanky, I think, because I... The block needs good initiation on her team. Kind of derping around here. Should probably go back. Yeah. Take a look at my gold and realize bot lane is going to be okay for the most part. All right. So I get my death cap and a bunch of wards because, well, LeBlanc loves wards. If you see an enemy alone, like this Riven here, then you go find them and kill them because you can kill pretty much anybody in one v one. Alright, so Marswing should probably start doing his favorite thing, which is just split pushing top without end. Warwick calls me out there, like, LeBlanc, why are you behind Ari? You're like, a level lower. And yeah, it's true, Ari is a level higher than me, and I have 60 CS while she has 113. But I've been, I've just been too busy roaming and ganking and stuff. Warwick pointing out we need to focus Pantheon, and well, I'm in agreement with that. Okay, this is a bit silly because I walk that far into the bush. I sh you should usually check bushes with ethereal chains before you even toss a ward in them. So our supports supports get close together and have a little support off. I start farming creeps with uh, distortion a bit to try and catch up to Ari. Just because there's like nothing, no action right now. Like, I've n where is the enemy? They're not pushing anywhere. And you know, Dragon is dead. We have got, we got wards around Baron, but they could be secretly taking it. But no. We see their bot, so... No, they're probably not doing Baron. Riven goes back to top. Ari goes and farms some more. Ari's got a Rylize, but I've got Death Caps, so we've got like very different kind of AP carries going now. Ari's trying to go for some sort of, you know, uh, slippery pest character. Uh, huh. I tried to gank bot, but they're already gone. So I just decide I'm going to recall at this point. Well, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> so Wukong's having a bit of a, you know, teaching Riven how to lane. He gets stunned under the tower, shrugs it off. I'm looking for the enemy again, but, you know, nobody's going to farm bot, so I guess I will. Oh, wait, I see them all coming on the map, though. not using my distortion to farm them in case they come in real fast, and I'm going to need to use it to blink away. So you see them splitting up a little bit, so... Your team has destroyed a yeah, Mars and Warwick take tower, awesome. Alright, so... Okay, check this kill out. I managed to get QR on Sivir before Alistar headbutts me away. So I flash back in and use distortion, and <laughs> toss ethereal chains at nothing. Probably thinking I would need to hit Sivir with them, but I was surprised I was just barely in distortion range. And then I just use distortion to turn after Alistar headbutts me. 
See, I saw Sivir had her spell shield, so there was no way she could survive my combo. She was just walking away from nothing with her spell shield on. Which is, well, Sivir's mistake. So I'm looking at some more... got my ultimate ready. So I throw half my combo in Alistar, and I end up killing him with an auto attack. Securing the kill, I guess. Sona heals me. Okay, this part's kind of funny. It's like, alright, I want to dive Ari or something, or just like push so I can dive. So Warwick says, LeBlanc, come steal their blue. Then I see Pantheon's red circle of death. Ari spirit dashing in, I get caught on the tower. Silence, yeah. I get her with chains, but she can still dash, so I just toss my Q and ignite on her. Insult. And Grave secures the kill for me, which I feel pretty good about. Giving all gold to the carry, man. Alright, looks like Mars is going to try to 1v1 Sivir, but, uh-oh, she ults, Pantheon comes in, and then he decoys out of there. Warwick's positioning not the greatest to back up Marswing here, so he busts Ghost with Ignite ticking away on him. Riven starts going good and off on our team, building tanky DPS Riven. Hee hee hee. Somebody hasn't read Hop Hop Revolution. So I'm pretty amazed that Sona got away from all that. So I point out that, you know, oh man, I need more health if Ari can just like dash at me and I can't fight back. So I decide to get Rylize to help the team. After this game I finally realized, okay watch this. I think they managed to steal Dragon. <laughs> so Graves quick draws over the hill and he gets away. <laughs> So I don't have any wards, so I can't like see where they are, or if they're still there. Yeah, I didn't even see that, so I like checked Dragon. Putting my distortion on cooldown for no reason. This is uh, the second Elixir of Brilliance I bought this game, by the way. So Wukong pushing with Nimbus Strike. Alright, so Warwick offers me blue once again, but... Something weird happens. Let's see, yeah, neither, well, Wukong might have his Wriggles board. Yeah, Pantheon's just standing there, so it's like, alright. Oh, not quite, our Alistar's gonna stun me. So I'll just chain him up, give him a free kill for Wukong. So I'm gonna... Alright, Pantheon dies, so I press R on Ari. And, and, and... Nice, Marsman gets the kill with Nimbus Strike. And then they surrender. So... That's how you win with LeBlanc without farming. Just go help your team, just get kills. That's LeBlanc in a nutshell. Shine her out.